time for some common sense. Many people don't take into consideration digital assets when it comes to estate planning. Craig Bolanos, founder and CEO of Wealth Management Group is here. What do we need to know, Craig? Well, Angela, if you have people that you love and they love you back, you know what? you absolutely have to have an estate plan. And we find that most people do an adequate job, a decent job of planning for their house, their family heirlooms, investment and bank accounts, but just about everybody is consistently coming up short when it comes to planning for their digital footprint. It's become the norm to store financial records, smartphones, computers, the cloud, and we also facilitate so many of our financial transactions, our payments in a digital way. Photos, videos, they're all online. People aren't printing out and doing scrapbooks anymore. And no one wants their social media presence to live on long past they do. So if people haven't taken the time, if you haven't taken the time to name a digital executor, then you might just find that your heirs are likely to be locked out of financial accounts, frustrated they can't shut down or access social media sites. And again, think of all those digital photos, those videos, they may end up being unaccessible unless you have a digital executor. I would love to know what would be on a checklist so that when someone passes away, family members are able to access digital information. Well, you know what? Let's first understand the obstacles and then discuss the solutions to overcome them. Passwords, they're a challenge. Some passwords, like the one to your laptop, your tablet, they can probably be bypassed with professional help, but others, things that require dual authentication, one-time passcodes, data encryption, that's gonna be practically impossible to crack. And think about data privacy laws. I mean, generally speaking, federal data privacy laws, they prohibit online account service providers from turning over the contents to anyone but the owner, the person listed in the user agreement. And you got to meet with an estate attorney who can add the digital asset provisions to your will, to your trust, aka create a digital executor, what we call a digital trustee in some cases. And it would be smart for everyone to create an inventory of their digital footprint and store such items with your estate plan and utilize. You know what? Why not utilize a password manager to store the usernames and passwords that your loved ones would need to access if you were no longer here? And very important, add legacy contacts to the user agreement of all these digital websites and social media platforms because they now allow such. I'm Craig Bolanos and I just can't emphasize enough how important it is that everyone manage their digital footprint by including those provisions very specific inside of their estate plan. At the Wealth Management Group, we're here to help everyone get retired and stay retired. If you want to be informed, if you want to learn more, you can. Go out to our website, investwithwmg.com. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.